This is in Northern California. It's rising faster and faster and tearing families apart. My son is gone. My son is gone from an epidemic. Tonight in a KCRA 3 investigation, new data shows more than thousands of Californians died from heroin overdoses in three years of, uh, in a three year period. KCRA 3's Kevin Oliver tells us how relatives of victims are now trying to do something about it. My son is gone. My son is gone from an epidemic. Lisa Hanks Baxter lost her 27 year old son Michael four months ago from a drug overdose at their Davis home. His mom says he struggled with addiction for more than a decade. When Michael was in high school, he was getting, um, he was smoking marijuana. He started smoking marijuana. And he was getting marijuana that was laced with heroin. And we didn't know what the hell was going on. This is the first one he did. And it just like blew us away. Michael used his art to cope with his pain, including the death of his girlfriend, Sammy, <laughs> who died a year earlier, also from a heroin overdose. She had um, at one point uh, dislocated her shoulder and um, was given opiates and um, it just went from there. Michael and Sammy are two of at least half a dozen young people from Davis who have died from overdoses in the past 18 months. Experts on drug abuse say as pharmaceutical drugs become harder to get and more expensive, more and more people are turning to heroin, which is actually cheaper and more readily available on the street than prescription narcotics. So if you can't get a prescription for it, what do you do? You buy a $10 bag of heroin. Families of overdose victims say the problem shouldn't be ignored and addicts shouldn't be shunned. The rise in heroin use is affecting families from all walks of life. Davis doctor Stephen Tesler lost his son. There's no city that I can think of that I've ever heard of that's immune from alcohol and drugs. Not this town, not any, anything in this whole region. Davis police say the number of heroin related investigations has risen from one in 2012 to 25 in 2014. The Centers for Disease Control says the number of heroin related deaths has doubled in two years. Michael and Sammy's mothers are now trying to channel their energy into helping addicts survive in order to get help. The trainings that we do... Pushing to get drugs like Narcan that can reverse the effects of an overdose into the hands of police and firefighters. Laura says it might have saved her daughter. But they were not trained in Narcan, so they had to wait for the ambulance to get there um, to give her Narcan. And... Uh, 17 minutes later. 17 minutes. Sammy and Michael's families say they don't know what the solution is to solve the growing heroin problem, but by spreading the word about Narcan, it might give someone else's children a second chance. The CDC reports that more than 10,000 people have been revived from an overdose since lay people started administering Narcan. Still, the federal agency says on average, 114 people die every day from opiate overdoses, including pharmaceutical drugs and heroin. And the number of heroin deaths in Sacramento County alone has quadrupled since 2010. According to the latest data from the California Department of Public Health, in 2012, 13 people died in Sacramento County from heroin overdose. That's up from just three deaths in 2010. There were 347 heroin deaths across California in 2012. Add to that the number of overdoses in an emergency room. In 2013, there were 19 patients seen in Sacramento County emergency rooms for heroin overdoses. That's up from nine in 2000.